guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Chrissy thank you for watching so today's video is going to be a really fun video it's gonna be a little different than we what we usually do here on my channel if you've watched a few of my previous videos and you know that normally I like to do tutorial videos and how to learn new techniques and things that are fun to learn but I just recently went to the Dollar Tree it's been a while since I got out of the house and went to the Dollar Tree and I came across this amazing brand new craft section that they just redid in my local Dollar Tree I knew when I walked in there that I had to create a video for you guys because I came across a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't even know they had there maybe they had it before maybe this is brand new to you but it was sure brand new to me and I'm super excited to show you guys what I found. These are things that I know you are going to love and you're definitely going to be able to use in your everyday crafting business or hobby, whatever it is that you guys do. So we just recently hit 5,000 subscribers on this channel and I am so excited to announce that we are going to be doing a giveaway to help celebrate. So keep on watching to the end of this video to find out how you can enter to win. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so we are ready to dive on into this huge haul from the Dollar Tree that I just went and got. Just check out this receipt list. Guys, I got a lot of stuff to show you. First thing I wanna share with you guys is not really craft related, but I'm actually wearing it in today's video on my lips, so I figured why not show you guys what it is. It is this Wet n Wild lipstick, and it is the gel lip balm. It's definitely new. Um, that I've never seen this before. Maybe you have, but I wanted to share with you guys because I really love how it felt going on. It's a little bit lighter than what's shown on the box. I tend to um, go more towards deeper burgundy colors for me personally. This is a little bit lighter pink than I would like, but um, I love how it feels. I love how light it is and how easy it was to glide on my lips. So I wanted to just share this little gem with you guys and yeah, while we're on the makeup section of this video, I wanted to share with you guys something else I found in the Dollar Tree. And if you didn't know, you can actually find pigments in the Dollar Tree to use on your tumblers and to color your resin. So this is not new to me, but maybe it is new to you. But I went into the makeup section and got a few little packages of loose eyeshadow powders. And I want to just show you all the colors that I found and we will be doing a video on how these perform on tumblers but if you guys are new to the tumbler world or you don't want to spend a lot of money on pigments head on over to the Dollar Tree go to the makeup section and pick up yourself some of these um, loose eye powder pigments guys these are mica this is what a lot of these shops carry now they might perform a little bit different than some of the other pigments you may purchase like chameleon powders i actually carry some mica powders in my shop but if you're in a pinch if you need something last minute then there's no shame to go to the dollar tree and pick up some pigment powders they have a wide variety of colors and i got a couple of different colors here i wanted to show you guys and we got three revlon I also picked up these two LA colors. One is a pretty light purple. There you can see it. And then this one is a really pretty champagne gold. All you need is a little amount sprinkled into your resin, mix it up and you can string it on and make a really pretty marble or Milky Way tumbler. These are amazing. You can even use them to dust your molds. I love these so much. When you're in a pinch, these are absolutely perfect. And guys, they're only a dollar. The small ones is 0.5 ounces and these larger ones by LA Colors are 0.10 ounces. Another product I wanted to share with you guys that you will find in the makeup section are these nail polish 
um, holder stands. These are acrylic. You can find them, like I said, in the makeup aisle, but these are perfect for holding your alcohol inks. I find that the nail polish stands work a lot better than the lipstick stands to hold your alcohol inks. The lipstick stands are just a little bit snug for the alcohol inks that I use, and the nail polish stands work the best. You can get a couple of these to put side by side. You can either you can also put them on a shelf, display them really, really nicely. And again, these are only a dollar and you can find them in your local Dollar Tree. So while we're in the makeup section, I wanted to share with you guys these cosmetic wedges. You get 28 pieces in here only for a dollar. And these cosmetic wedges are a little bit different than your standard ones. These are your bio biodegradable, latex free, and naturally hypoallergenic. And you can wash them with mild soap and water to rinse them out and use them again. These are perfect for your alcohol ink cups or any other cups that you may want to dab or create accent um, paintings on your cups if you're doing clouds or anything like that these are perfect you can find them in the dollar tree again for only a dollar 28 for a dollar guys you cannot beat these sponges so talking about alcohol inks i actually came across this electronics duster so this is used to blow air onto your keyboard. You can use it to clean off your keyboard if you're using glitter or anything around your keyboard, but these are actually perfect for blowing alcohol inks too. So if you're like me and you like to work with alcohol inks, um, instead of dabbing them on with the wedges, you can actually blow a little bit of air on here, dab some alcohol ink on your tumbler, blow some air, and it'll spray it up the tumbler and make really cool effects. I came across this and I don't know why I never thought to pick this up before I usually just take a straw and blow you can also do that but for a dollar for this can you cannot go wrong so if you're ever in the Dollar Tree and you come across this item pick it up try it out and let me know what you think so let's head on to the paint department because I found a lot of cool items I know they didn't have before and I'm super excited that I came across it because if you guys know I have been experimenting with acrylic pouring and resin pouring so when I saw their new and revamped paint section I was really excited they have these tubes of acrylic paint they actually have a couple of different colors I went ahead and picked up black because I needed some black paint but if you're ever there, you can go ahead and check out all the other colors. They had a really pretty yellow and a really, really pretty purple. And I'm sure you may probably come across some other colors as well. These tubes are called Crafter Square and there is three ounces in this tube. Now, if you're not able to purchase any pouring paints from Counterculture, I love their Rix Mix. You guys are going to see that product a lot in my upcoming videos. But if you aren't able to pick up some Rix Mix, if you are a beginner and you just want to try it out, then you're definitely going to need some pouring medium to go along with your acrylic paints. Can you believe that I found a pouring medium in the Dollar Tree? I have not tried this out yet. I am definitely going to try this out in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming videos because we have a lot of stuff to try out and test for you guys. Some really awesome products I also just came across was the Aileen's tacky glue. I cannot believe I found this. I think they may have had this before. I'm not sure. If you do, let me know if you've seen this there before. This is the first time I've seen this, but this is three fluid ounces of Aileen's tacky glue. And if you haven't seen my video where I did the tacket method on a tumbler, where you apply tacky glue to a tumbler and then put your glitter on and flatten it down, then go ahead and check that out so you know how to use this glue. But this was only a dollar, and if you know about the tacket method, then you know that it's on, you're only using a 50-50 ratio, so this little bottle is going to last you a very long time. Not only that, but you can use tacky glue to revamp your Cricut mats as well, so that's another way you can use this glue. I'm super excited that I found this for a dollar. 
I also found these two spray adhesives, which are perfect for applying your glitter as well. It's just another alternative way to apply your glitter. You can use Mod Podge, you can use Res. A lot of people like to use an adhesive spray, so you can always use these as well. They had two cans, one with white, one with orange, and I guess it really just depends on which ones you prefer, but they're both extra strength, acid free, and they broke dry clear. The only difference is the white one says it's for crafts and the orange one says it's for projects. You're probably wondering why I'm showing you guys a shower curtain. Well, these shower curtains are actually perfect for draping your workstation, especially if you're working with acrylic paint or resin. You can either open this up and drape it along your table as is, or you can cut them up into 12 inch squares and put them under your turning table to catch your resin drops off. I really like these as well because they do include a little magnet in them so when you drape them over your tables they won't fly away. Also if you don't really need it to drape your table and you're going to just cut them up to use as a mat to catch your resin, you can cut out these little magnet pieces and make samples of resin with them or create little cute magnets with them to send in as an extra gift in your orders for your customers. So speaking of little gifts for your customers or little add-ons for your customers, I came across these retractable card holders. I know that these are super popular now, so when I found these three for a dollar, I just couldn't You guys resist. know that with everything going on in the world right now, we are super appreciative of all of our healthcare workers and all of our nurses and doctors. I think that creating these little retractable badge holders are really, really cute. You can purchase different molds to attach to these. And like I said, three for a dollar, you can't go wrong. And they have a few different colors. I decided to pick up black and pink. I love pink, so I couldn't resist, but they also have blue. I believe they have clear, but you can check out what your local Dollar Tree has when you go to pick these up. you know all about the craze of keychains and mold makings, then you know how cute these little tassels are to put onto your keychains. Again, when I came across this, I had to pick them up. This was the last one. These are super cute, so I'm pretty sure that they go fast. Um, but these are little paper clips. But you can use these multi-purpose. You can even leave them the little paper clip on there and stick it onto your keychain just to give it a little extra something that maybe no one else is using right now. Or you can take the little tassel off and attach it directly onto your keychain. I think that this is super cute and you get eight of these for a dollar. While I was looking, I also came across these metallic pens. Now, if you like creating geodes and you want to know how people do that cute little accent gold around the little geode coasters, or if you're making a geode tumbler and you want to create those cute little accent lines, these pink metallic pens will be perfect for that. I ended up picking up a gold and a silver because I like using both. They did have another color I believe was either pink or purple, but I love these. And again, these are only a dollar and they're perfect for those geo traps. So while I was there, I came across this two-piece piercing and scoring tool set. I could not pass this up. If you are a crafter like me, you work with vinyl, you have a Cricut, a Silhouette, whatever it is that you have, these, you know, are these are amazing because when you're weeding and you need to get those little tiny pieces, especially these straight ones are super, super sharp. What I love is that they come with a cap so you can put them away in your drawer when you're looking for them or you can put them on your table in a cute little pencil holder to hold your little tools. Here, you won't poke yourself when you're going to grab for them, but I thought that this was something really cool and definitely needed for your vinyl and for your weeding. I actually picked up two of them because I could not pass it up. So definitely go ahead and check those out. I also came across these embossing tools, but if you've seen those cute little tumblers where they dot on the paint drops and they make 
all these cute little dot tumblers. I personally haven't made them on a tumbler, but I've done a lot of nail art back in my day using these types of tools. And I think these would be perfect. So it is a double sided tool. It has a silicone um, guard here for your fingers. One side has a small dot, a round dot, and then the other side has a larger dot. Again, I picked up two of these cannot go wrong for a dollar. I forgot to mention when we were talking about those geode coasters, but I also came across this adhesive cork sheet and this is perfect for your coasters they're perfect for those you put them on the bottom so that they don't slide and and slip everywhere because if you know if you've made those geode coasters before the bottom of them can be quite slippery and if you're actually using them more than just a decorative piece you want to put cups on them or little decorative items on them the last thing you want is for them to go sliding off of the table or wherever you have them so these are pretty good because instead of having to put glue on them, they come with their little adhesive backing. You can put your poster on top, trace a little circle, cut it out, and just slap it on the bottom side of these. And I think that these would work perfect for that. You can also use them as a DIY cork board. You can pick up a cute little picture frame, put it inside without the glass, hang it up in your craft room, and use it to put sticky notes or anything like that. also picked up these cute little thumbtacks which could be used with the cork board as well in here you get 300 thumbtacks and look at how pretty they are in this cute little gold color I just had to get them I use thumbtacks a lot I actually have a cork board in my office as well so these are super handy and with 300 of them I don't think you'll need to buy these a whole lot so a dollar goes a long way So if you're just a mold maker and you like to create molds, I came across these ring binder holders. Now these are perfect for those molds where you can create journal covers or notebook covers. A lot of you guys know that those molds come with these little pieces in them, but you can reuse those molds. And so if you don't want to purchase um, expensive ring holders specific for those molds then you can go and check out the Dollar Tree they have three different sizes so I went ahead and picked up all three we have a small a medium and a large and the small carries 10 the medium carries 8 and the large also carries 8 so depending on how many pages you're gonna put in between your notebook covers depends on how large you want these um, circle holders but again they have three different sizes you can pick up all of them you can pick up one whatever you guys need but I thought that this would be perfect for those molds all right so we're almost down to the end of this whole shopping spree but I came across these double-sided tapes in the dollar store I actually picked up double-sided tape on Amazon but for a dollar you cannot go wrong I believe on Amazon the one I purchased came with three different sizes I paid about ten dollars for them these are really these are the thin ones so if you're looking for a thicker size then you may want to check out Amazon but for a dollar these are 3.3 inches by 33 feet long you have a lot in here to create your double-sided tape tumblers if you're doing stripes on your tumblers or a geometric tumbler whatever kind of tumbler you're using that you may want to use double-sided tape these are perfect I picked up two of them and they were only a dollar Last but definitely not least in this shopping spree are my craft sticks. If you work with tumblers and you're mixing up your resin or you're mixing up your acrylic paint, then you know you're going to need some craft sticks, some wood crafting sticks. I know a lot of us like to use metal and silicone sticks, but these are great as well in a pinch and they come with 60 in a pack for a dollar. And I picked up two.
All right, guys, so now that we come to the end of this video, I'm excited to announce the giveaway. As you guys know, I showed you a lot of products that I picked up in today's haul and a lot of the stuff I ended up getting double of. The reason why I ended up buying double of everything was because I wanted to put together a cute little giveaway package for one of my subscribers. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item from this haul and whether or not you knew that Dollar Tree carried all of this stuff. If you're done with that, also let me know that you've subscribed and you liked the video and we will be picking a winner very, very soon. All right, guys, so that's it. I'm super excited to see who is the winner. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and until next time.